This is the oldest cemetery in the Louisiana Purchase. It's established in 1737. This is my first time coming here. I'm really excited to see if I can be able to find any graves, maybe from the 1600s. But then that, let's get into the video. So there's a way to go this way. And there's a way to go this way. Let's go his way first. Look at the size of this cricket. That's a smaller one. Must be a baby. Look at the graves, how they're all in a line. It reminds me of beds, which is their final resting spot. This is cool. Whoever came up with this little idea for the part of the cemetery, that is awesome. Very, very awesome. They put some thought into that, I'll tell you that for sure. The five graves that you see right here, all of them were in World War I or World War II. Let's get a closer shot and see who, who they are. So look at these seven graves. They're just surrounded in a perimeter all by itself. I'm not too sure why these graves or in its own little plot. Maybe it's a privately owned family plot. Who knows? And there's a grave right there I'd like to look at. They seam it into the ground with the other the other block. Same with these two. Oh wait a minute, I can read something. 1824 I think to 1831? I think, I don't know, it's hard to read it. Here's one of the graves that are fenced off. Well, multiple graves, I see two. Well, three. Okay, so one's behind the fence, there's two here. Okay, so apparently the names are on this side. I was thinking they're on the other side because usually when you see a grave, it's facing the other direction for the body, which is right, laid down right here. So apparently this is laid on a different side. And I can't really tell who died here the year they were born and the death. This one you can actually see a date. She was born, Sally, which was born 1864. She died on 1904. I think they're getting ready to use this little plot to bury more people. That's what my guess is because I see caution tape, which means they're going to be putting another section right here where you see it's a line. I already see some graves or gravestones. I have no idea who that is, but that caught my attention. I think the reason it caught my attention is because it's a stone for it, or a boulder slash stone for a headstone for somebody's grave. That's unique. Finally, we found something that's unique here. These are the type of graves that you see in New Orleans. So from what I'm seeing from this guy, apparently he was a priority teacher, a faith finder, and a peacemaker. And I'm guessing that's got to be his wife on the opposite side. I honestly really don't know who this is in general, besides seeing the name at the top of the grave. I may look up some information on this person. Or Mr. John has a special tomb. I finally found somebody that is buried in Natchitoches, Louisiana. I'm pretty sure there's others here that are buried as well, but this is the only one I'm seeing so far.
So I don't know what's the story behind this grave, but it looks like it's sinking into the earth. Now this looks really fancy. Let's see what's down here. I feel like at a bench you can probably just relax on. I see Florida Lee markings over there. I'm wondering if that's somebody's house or if that's a part of the actual cemetery. Let's head on down and see what else we can find. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up to another entrance. And like I showed in my intro, the oldest cemetery in the Louisiana Purchase, established in 1737, the American Cemetery. Like I said, first time coming here, first time visiting the city, Natchitoches. I'm liking the cemetery. I haven't really explored any of the part of the city. I may get into that with another video if I decide to come back down here. I just noticed this on top of the cemetery. There's two bald eagles. There's one right there. There's one right there. This is another one of the entrance and there's also like little icons up here as well. The other one that you saw had two bald eagles. Alright, let's head back up here. See what else is see what else they have. Let's go check out this side. That grave in the back right there, I want to go check that out. So here's the grave I wanted to check out. I was curious to see who was on it. So here's the guy right here. I can't really read his name that well. But I can see when he was born and when he died. So born 18 or born March 13, 1860. Died August 12, 1912. I mean 1910. Thirty-seven years old, nine months, and two hundred and ninety days. I've never seen that before on somebody's grave. Let's go find out who these people are. R. B. Williams, son of John Williams. I'm taking this is probably early, early 1800s. Along with this, and I'm guessing this is probably his wife? Helen, yep. That's a woman name. And if there you go, wife, daughter, and a mother. That's two more graves that are pretty much just one of them's lifted from the ground, the other's still intact. That one looks like it's damaged a little bit. Same with that one over there. I wonder if that's from Hurricane Katrina or did it even make it up this far to Natchitoches? I don't really know, honestly. This cemetery is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be because when I looked on Google Earth, it's like a really, really small piece of land. This is actually quite big. I got a squirrel right there. He's eating his lunch, which is what I should be doing right now, but I'm making this video. 
I think I found another grave that has collapsed. So apparently the movie Still Magnolias was filmed here, which I have never heard of it before. And I'm definitely going to watch it after I, I finish this cemetery. But I'd recommend reading this. Pause the video if you want to read that. That's very interesting. Whoever this guy is, he really wants to be known. If you watch one of Nola Deej's videos, he goes to one of the cemeteries in Louisiana, and there's a story behind one of the uh, headstones that's kind of like this. I wonder if it's the same story with this guy who right here. I don't know personally. I'm going to have to look up the information to see. Because that's what it reminds me of for a second. So it looks like the guy's name was Jack, Houston Jack, Williams Houston Jack. And there's two other graves by him as well. I'm guessing one has got to be his mother, children, sisters, I don't know. Let's go see, let's go see. Mary Catherine Whitfield, wife of William H. Jack. Okay, so this is his wife. She was born 1841, died in 1882. In December, her death. September, her birth. So, I wonder... Oh, here's another gravestone. No names, I can't really say. So here's the other one. Oh, okay, so... There's no name on this as well. Well, that makes it a bit difficult. So I'm starting to wonder if that's, if this is just for like showcase. And I wonder if this is Houston Jack that's inside here. I wonder now. I don't see any markings, but I kind of wonder if that's Houston Jack now. Wow. Cool setup. Like I said, it reminds me of beds. ICR response. Louis Joes Joseph to oh, second B S, -S T Aismans. Died at the age of 18. This cemetery just keeps going on and on with really cool grave sites. Or the way they're designed in general. I like this. Even though I don't know who's buried in these two plots. Or two graves. That's really cool though. Surrounds the whole entire area. And has two graves inside. Cool. So here's one of the graves that we were just looking at, which is right over there. So that's who this person is right here. And there's other people as well that was buried in the cemetery, which I couldn't find them, honestly. I looked around, didn't see them. And then here's this. Looks like it's a statue of a woman, somebody cleaning up. And then it shows a picture of the cemetery right here. People, it looks like somebody's grilling something, which is kind of strange in a cemetery. But I, 
okay, if that's what if that's what uh, you want to do, okay, go for it. There's some flowers. That's my camera, by the way. Don't worry about it. I just have it sit there. Alright guys, I want to end it right here behind this monument of Jack, Houston Jack. It really catches my eye. This is a really, really cool cemetery. First time coming here actually, like I said, for the fourth time. It's a very beautiful cemetery, I'll tell you that. It's worth a check out. If you're in here in Natchitoches, or if you're from around the state, or around the world in general, I'd recommend coming here. This is the oldest cemetery in the Louisiana Purchase, as of 1737. So wrap up. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get some food. See you in the next one.